capital allowances, which are also known as uh, tax depreciation. This is basically uh, available against your accounting depreciation. So we need to understand that uh, on which asset capital allowances are available and on which asset capital allowances is not available. So first of all, capital allowances are available to provide tax relief against capital expenditure. And remember that capital allowances are not available on all capital expenditure because capital expenditure also include land, building and other things. So capital allowances are only available on certain qualifying plant and machinery. If plant and machinery falls under the definition of qualifying plant and machinery, then you are eligible to get the capital allowances. Now, there are three types of allowance which you can get. One is called the annual investment allowance. Other is the written down allowance. And third one is first year allowance. Now, every type of allowance is available on different types of assets. So we need to understand the situation where we can get AIA, WDA, as well as the first year allowance. And remember that we are discussing this situation with respect to individual, that is the uh, sole trader and the individual for the purpose of calculation of income tax. There are some differences when we when we'll discuss the corporation tax issues and the allowances. Now, first of all, annual investment allowance. The annual investment allowance is available 100% for the first 1 million of qualifying expenditure in a 12 month accounting period. What it means? It means that if a company uh, spend 1 million or more than 1 million capital expenditure, then for the first 1 million, you can get immediate allowance in the name of AIA. And this limit that is 1 million is for a 12 month accounting period. Now it happens that sometimes your accounting period is short, that is less than 12 months. And sometimes your accounting period is long, that is more than 12 months. So suppose your accounting period is nine months. So in that case, we have to reduce this limit. So 1 million by nine by 12. And now AIA limit is 7,50,000. It means up to 7,50,000 AIA is available. If your capital expenditure is more than that, you will only get 7,50,000 in the case of short accounting period. This annual allowance is available on all plant and machinery, which are qualifying in nature, except for one plant and machinery, which is called motor car. So on motor car, AIA is not available and we have to look for different kind of allowance. Now, for example, Suppose there is a capital expenditure of 1 million and accounting period is of 12 months. So up to 1 million, we will get immediately AIA. What about the remaining 500,000 value? So on the remaining 500,000, we will get annual allowance and that annual allowance is called the written down allowance. Similarly, if on motor car, we are not able to get the AIA, then we will able to get the written down allowance on motor car. Now, as far as written down allowance is concerned, uh, we have to apply this WDA uh, on journal pool item as well as for special pool item. There are two pools and we have to identify which asset falls under journal pool and which assets fall under the special pool. There is a definition for special pool items. So if an asset falls under that, we will call them a special pool item. Otherwise that would be journal pool item. So if an asset falls under journal pool item, the annual allowance, which is called written down allowance is available at the rate of 18 months for an accounting period of 12 months. It means if accounting period is less than 12 months or more than 12 months, this percentage is time a portion. Similarly, if an asset falls under special pool item, 
the rate is reduced and this is now 6% for a 12 month accounting period. And similarly, it will be time apportioned. Now the difference between AIA and WDA is that AIA is available in the year of acquisition. And afterwards, when you are using that asset subsequently, then every year you can claim either 18% written down allowance or 6%. And this is basically available on reducing balance basis. Now suppose, for example, uh, on 15th August 2022, we have purchased first time a plant having value of 1.5 million. So first of all, you will get AIA up to 1 million. This is the kind of allowance immediately available. So 1 million is our allowance. And then on remaining 500,000 at the end of the year, you will get WDA. Let's assume that it's a journal pool item. So then my WDA would be 500,000 into 18%. And that would be 90,000. So 90,000 here. Total allowance in a given tax year is 1.9 million. And this is called the tax depreciation. So that will be used against your uh, trading income. Similarly, the third type of allowance, which is available called FYA or first year allowance, this is basically available against motor car only. But remember that not for all motor car, for those motor cars which meet certain criteria. So those car which are new, having zero CO2 emission, carbon dioxide emission rate is zero, attract a hundred percent first year allowance. For example, I have purchased a car worth 1 million having zero CO2 emission, then I will claim my allowance named at first year allowance hundred percent immediately. So means afterward, there will be no amount left. So there will be no WDA subsequently. As we have already discussed that on car, there is no AIA. So car attract either the WDA allowance or first year allowance, but first year allowance is only for those cars, which meet this criteria. And this first year allowance is never time apportioned due to short accounting period or long accounting period. Now, this is the table that will be provided in the text sheet and allowances column. You can see here, we have main and journal pool. We have a special rate pool WDA. And for car, new car with CO2 emission zero is 100% first year allowance. And those car which having CO2 of 1 and 50 gram in between, those always fall in main pool and attract 18% WDA. And those cars which are over 50 gram are a special part of a special pool item and attract 6%. So you have to segregate the car. That is one car with zero to, zero to emission, zero CO2 emission, another one, one till 50 gram, and another one is more than 50 gram. Annual allowance limit, rate of allowance is 100% and the amount available is 1 million. Now let's talk about that which assets forms part of a special rate pool or a special rate pool item. So following are the special rate pool item. Number one is integral feature of building. Second is long life assets. Third one is thermal insulation of a building. And fourth one is called high emission car, which is by definition a car having CO2 over 50 gram per kilometer. Now what is integral feature of building? Integral feature of building is any plant of machinery, which is part of the building such as lifts, escalators, electrical and journal lightning system, cold water system, 
space or water heating system, system of ventilation, cooling or purification system, all kind of plant and machinery falls under special rate pool. Similarly, another type is long life asset. So what is the definition of long life asset? Those assets, when new, having an expected economic working life of 25 years or more, at least 25 years, when total expenditure on a 12-month period is exceed 100,000. So one is the life condition, and that is the condition related with amount. Now let's assume that Mr. A started a business on 6th April 2021, purchased a machine on 15th August 2021 at a cost of 1.2 million. Also purchased a new motor car having carbon dioxide rate of 20 gram per kilometer having cost of 200,000. Calculate how much capital allowances are available in the particular tax year. Now, as this is the first year of business, so we have to prepare a pro forma. In the pro forma, my first column will always be main pool and journal pool item. And then on the next side, either a special pool or something else, depending on the question. But at least at the end, we have to prepare a column of how much total allowances are available. So in this question, there are minimum two columns. So let's start with first one is a machine and machine is eligible for AIA. So we have an addition of machine costing 1.2 million. Now I will first claim AIA worth 1 million. And this is my first allowance, 1 million. Now after claiming the allowance, the leftover balance transferred to journal pool. This is 200,000. Now my second purchase is a car having CO2 of 20 gram. Now this car having CO2 of 20 gram falls under journal pool. So 200,000 is in journal pool. And remember that car do not attract any kind of AIA. Now at the end, we have to find out the total. That is how much asset values available in journal pool 400,000. And now we have to apply WDA written down allowance which is for journal pool is 18%. So 400,000 attract 72,000 of written down allowance. And now we have the remaining value of pool after deduction of 72,000. So the remaining value in the pool is 328,000. This is called tax written down value closing balance. And that would be opening balance for the next year. And now we have to identify how much allowance we have claimed in this particular year. And that is 1072000. This is the total allowance claimed in this year.
Now we have uh, tax written down value brought forward opening balance of journal pool 200,000 at 1st January 2021 and accounting year end is 31st December 2021 that is of 12 months. We have purchased a plant at a cost of 800,000 during the accounting period and motor car one having 60 gram CO2 and motor car number uh, second which is CO2 zero gram per kilometer or zero emission costing 300,000 calculate capital allowances. So we have first column that is the journal pool or main pool. Second, now we have uh, one special pool item as well. And the third column is of allowance. Now, first is TWDV brought forward balance opening balance which is given as 200,000. Afterward, we have purchased a plant and the value of plant is 800,000. Now we know that the plant attract AIA up to 1 million. So the whole amount is claimed as AIA. So this is my first claim of AIA. Afterward, first motor car and that is 60 gram costing 1 lakh 50. So this is part of main pool and then next car having zero CO2 emission costing 300,000. So this type of car attract first year allowance and this is allowance transfer to the allowance column. Now, after considering all the additions, let's find out the total in the relevant pool. We have 200,000 balance in the relevant pool and we have 1,50,000 in the special pool. Now, the main pool attract 18% WDA and journal pool attract 6% WDA per annum. So this is 36,000 transfer this to allowance column and 150 attract 6% that is 9,000 transfer again this to relevant column. Now the TWDV closing balance of both the pool is One lakh sixty four thousand, and this is one lakh forty one thousand, and the total of the allowance column is we have. 800,000, 300,000, this is 1145 one, zero. Now another example, we have uh, TWDV brought forward balance of the main pool is 50,000 and a special pool opening balance is 100,000. Accounting year is of nine months. That means it's a short accounting period. During the year, a plant was purchased at a cost of 900,000. Calculate capital allowances. So it's a case of short accounting period. So we have a main pool column, journal pool. Another is the special pool column. And then the final one is the allowance. So first of all, the opening balances. Now, as it's of short accounting period, so although we have planned of 900,000, but AIA is now time apportioned. For nine months, my AIA is nine by 12. That is only 7,50,000. It means remaining amount is 1,50,000 falls in main pool. 
sometime it happens that the remaining amount might fall in a special pool item as well. So here we have 200,000 of balance available and here we have 100 and total 7,50,000 is claimed as AIA. Now on the remaining balance, the journal pool attracts 18% and this is, but remember that this needs to be time apportioned as well. So we have nine by 12 and similarly we have nine by 12. So 200,000 into 0.18 into nine divided by 12, that is 2,700. And for a special pool item, this is 4,500. So the closing balances are one nine seven three double zero, and that is nine five five double zero, and we have total allowance. Seven lakh fifty thousand seven five seven two hundred.